Morning Creeper Truck fans. It's October 23rd, 2020. Um, getting the truck set up to take it up there. And one of the things I have to do is normally have to crank the truck up, turn it around and get it set up to pull it up on the trailer and stuff to get ready to go to the next event. So uh, what's special about this particular event, um, I'm going to the 901 Nightmare. And um, uh, it used to be called the Nightmare on 901. They closed in, the Nightmare on 901 closed in 2007. And after that point, I ended up leaving then and I went up to um, Hersey Valley Spooky Woods in Archdale, North Carolina. And then I worked up there from about 2007 to 2018. Then I decided that, you know, I'm gonna do my own thing. So I, that's when I got the movie truck and stuff and started doing my own thing. Still live everybody up there, just, you know, I'm doing my own thing stuff now and hopefully I get back up there eventually. But, uh, so, uh, the 901 Nightmare, um, I put out an advertisement that uh, I was going to bring the movie truck up there uh, about two weeks ago. And, uh, and, I was, and I, this is how I worded the announcement. I was like, if you ever remember going out to the Nightmare on 901 and taking pictures with me dressed up as the Creeper's cousin, you know, you remember because people could religiously come out there every year. To, that was one of their highlights to take pictures with me. So, uh, you know, and I mentioned that, you know, I'm going to be coming out there, but this time, I'm bringing this with me. So, uh, I have got, it has been seen, that advertisement has been seen by 170, almost 171,000 people. Now, I have no clue how many people uh, are coming up there tonight. My best advice to you, if, if you do come up there tonight, you might want to come up early. That way you can get in there and be able to see everything. But um, the video I'm making this morning, I'm kind of talking more about the truck. Mean, uh, meaning that, you know, you hear everybody talk about, well, you know, you got a, you know, it's a 1941 Chevy COE. Okay, well, what is a COE? I know there's a lot of uh, older gentlemen out there and a lot of younger gentlemen, too, that ran a lot of vehicles and stuff that know what COE means. Um, but for those of you don't, uh, excuse me, those of you that don't, uh, it means cab over engine, meaning you sit directly on top of the engine. So... Whenever you're getting ready to move this vehicle, you want to make sure that it's got lots of brake fluid and lots of oil because that's the two things that will be detrimental to this vehicle. Um, but whenever you check the brake fluid, this is the brake reservoir, this particular vehicle. Um, brake reservoir is here. And you put oil in right here. And then your dipstick is right there. And it's a, it's a, it's a little bit cantankerous to try to work on all this stuff, having to sit on top of the engine and everything. But I mean, it's the technology in this really, really works, uh, and it's amazing what they had back in the day. Um, the original engine that came into this vehicle was a 216. Uh, it, the 216 it was in, is apparently got damaged or tore up before they started uh, filming or something of that nature, uh, because the engine that's installed in here is a 235. It's a 235 and it has a, a granny gear four speed. And then, you know, it's got a 656 rear gear. Big old huge honking thing up under here. Um, but um, it's just not very fast. Uh, this wasn't the one they did the chase scenes in. This is the one they did in a lot of the scenes that involved, um, you know, um, um, a lot of the. Uh, the more detailed scenes where you actually had to have, you know, good visual displays of like the stuff in the back where the creatures throwing bodies in it and everything of that nature. But, uh, the, the hood up here is pretty much nothing more for a place to, for the access the radiator. And, you know, there's not a lot to it up in there. I, I keep the, uh, we had to install a, a electric fan in the vehicle because it was running too hot when I got it. Um, but you know, it, uh, every time we move it, we have to check all that stuff and run through a little thing. If you have an old vehicle, you have to crank it up and run it. Because if you don't, you end up, uh, it'll, it'll end up eating itself, you know. And uh, it's not a good thing. But, uh, well, I got to get this thing loaded up and get ready to go. As always, thanks so much for watching. And uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you have any other questions, shoot them to me. Make comments. I'll get back to you. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it today because I'm getting ready to be pretty busy, apparently, with all the people that are coming up there tonight. But um, anyway, thank you again. 
See you next time.